tell you what, as it's been a while, let's do a classic Autobot car. I'm so excited about this toy, I could honestly just sit here and squeal for 20 minutes. This is a biggie. It's goddamn Generations Wheeljack. So let's begin with a quick squint at G1 Wheeljack. This guy's just an iconic, beloved, pure breed, post Microman G1 Megastar. He just oozes character, the car mode's great, he's good and heavy with the die cast bits, but let's face it, he's completely crap. I know, I know, but he's all rickety and out of proportion with his orangutan arms, and there's just too many bits. This is one of the main G1 guys I always hoped they'd have another go at and get right, and after years of failures and imposters, this fella needed classics of fine harder than most. Check it out! It's a high quality, G1 accurate, fully functioning action figure of the Autobot nerd machine that is Wheeljack. Downshift my friend, your burden is lifted. So this guy's a repaint slash remold of Reveal the Shield Turbo Tracks, with modified legs and wings, new head and different weapons, but this mold just works so well for the character you keep forgetting it's a repaint. Totally loving the new head. There's no mistake in this guy being basically the only character with a slinky for a face who talks with his ears. Ball joint, light piping, ear piping, spot on. Arms are marvellous too. Six joints! He's got those brilliant Reveal the Shield hands. Perfect for holding stuff and doing science and rejecting your stupid ideas. Do like the dual character switchable wheels too. Give it up for the big old G1 flared trousers. Check out the girth on those puppies. They work backward to track his legs and he's a tiny bit shorter because of his knees. And also he's got feet on his ankles which is disturbing. Disturbing, but they're obscured from view by these giant augmented hooves. So let's talk gadgets. Wheeljack comes with this pointy rocket looking handgun and a pair of wrenches that put a neat twist on the old clip system. Bang them up there if you want or you can borrow the other handgun off tracks for the full G1 effect. Honestly I cannot tell you how happy this robot makes me. It's just everything I wanted. He is quite a bit shorter than some of the other Autobot linebackers but there's certainly enough of him and oh man the colours! Forget about it! Transformation's just a dream. Honestly, I found Trax to be a bit of a pig. I mean, the back end wouldn't cooperate. But this one, no hassle. And this is what I like to call a mighty son of a bitch of a car mode. Check it out, it's just a slick, mean machine to rival even the chunkiest of racers. It's long and flat and low, and the colours just look bloody ace. Maybe I would have liked to see a 539 on there, but come on, I'm not that unpleasable. Looks like he's stuck a body kit on there, but when it comes to mods, I'm sure Wheels right knows what he's doing. So the weapons clip under the doors to make some beef some exhausts. And I hear tell there's a flying car mode, but this right here is the car a car mode that doesn't need extras. It's just perfect and it rounds off Wheeljack as one of the coolest Transformer toys of the last couple of years. Less interestingly, this guy finishes off the new version of my childhood Autobot team. I always sort of hoped I'd get better versions of it one day and, well, three out of four ain't bad. Uh, Big shout outs to Will for chucking this thing across the pond. Thanks, buddy. Thuddy.